Happy Friday, Spartan Nation. I hope everyone had a fantastic week out there. Uh, cooled off enough this week that we were able to have the, the gates open at lunchtime um, every single day this week. Uh, looking at the weather forecast, looks like it's going to warm up uh, this weekend a little bit, but hopefully be a little cooler heading in the next 10 days. So um, thankfully football is here. It's the most wonderful time of the year, despite what the holiday song says. And uh, it's nice to be inside this weekend, maybe out by the pool watching some football as we head into it. So um, we're, we're wrapping up week seven this week. Uh, we are down to the final two weeks of the quarter. Uh, what that means for grading, just kind of a midway point in the semester, really. Uh, we are on semester grades as a reminder, and so uh, grades will not be final until we head into uh, the winter break and end the semester. So just keep that in mind. Uh, with the next two weeks, we do have parent-teacher conferences next week. Uh, in the email that you uh, found this video, there is a link for parent-teacher conferences. And so if you did not get an invite yet and you're interested in a parent-teacher conference, uh, I'm going to mute this real quick as we're, uh, as we're talking so we don't get any more email interruptions as they're popping in. Uh, and so uh, you can utilize that, utilize that link to uh, schedule a parent-teacher conference. If you have any concerns or questions with that or have any trouble, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to our office manager, Pam Stone, for support in getting a parent-teacher conference scheduled. Uh, we, the, the spots are limited. Uh, the reality is we, we don't have enough time and space for everyone. So if you're not able to get a spot, and you would like to reach out to a teacher, uh, whether it's a phone uh, conference, a video conference in person, uh, please reach out to that teacher and we'll find a way to accommodate uh, meeting as a team so we can set your student up for success heading into semester two. Uh, within the next two weeks, kind of just as, again, as we're wrapping up the quarter, we do have three early release days. Uh, we will have that on Thursday and Friday of next week for parent-teacher conferences. And then the following week, as we head into uh, fall break, the Wednesday, we do have an early release. And so just wanted to keep that in mind as a reminder, it's 135. And then kind of with that as a reminder, and I might mention at the end, uh, September 20th, that early release, there is a main event uh, fundraiser that PTSO is, uh, is running. So we appreciate the attendance in that as that 20% of those uh, proceeds will come back to our PTSO to support our campus. Uh, looking kind of back at this week, we had uh, uh, this week's shield lesson was on accountability. And so you'll see where again in that uh, the body where you found this email, you can click on the PDF of that and which lesson uh, and you can overview the lesson that uh, that was presented in all of our classes this week on Wednesday during fourth period. Uh, getting a chance to pop into some classrooms this week. Always one of my favorite things to do. Um, I love being out front for traffic in the morning. Uh, I love getting a chance to be in the hallways during passing period love love being in classrooms as much as i can and and lunch is a great time as well as i have been continuing my my pattern this year of grabbing some lunch and sitting with some different students and so it's been very enjoyable for me um, and that definitely recharges the batteries being able to uh, be around kids and and watching them learn and grow and so uh, this week one of the highlights is was popped into miss hamilton's math class and uh, they were doing a really cool lesson uh, doing some uh, word problems uh, working out some equations uh, and uh, using the cube method and all of the word problems were uh, fantasy football related. So uh, player had and they were actual uh, scenarios from the last season of a certain player and how many points they scored, rushing, uh, throwing the ball, and they had to use an equation to figure out how many fantasy points they would have scored. So Pretty cool application of, of, of math and how it relates to uh, fantasy football. And, and talking to students over the last uh, week or so as we head into football season, it's been really fun to talk football with some students in all the different fantasy football leagues that they're in. And so, um, yeah, um, athletics this week, uh, great opportunity for me. I love covering athletics and being here for our students. I uh, had a chance to, to watch baseball this week as, watch, as well as watching volleyball. Uh, volleyball is so exciting to watch sometimes and uh, yesterday's game uh, against uh, Crisman was uh, both seventh and eighth grade was incredible there were some amazing volleys going back and forth and so uh, congratulations to our seventh grade team uh, eighth grade, grade team lost a, a tough one in the third set and so uh, I'm excited as both baseball uh, and uh, volleyball head into the playoffs next week the EVC tournament 
And so with that being said, um, keep a lookout on our social media accounts for that. They do start Monday. Uh, Cooley will come here for eighth grade volleyball. And then, sorry, I'm just looking at my notes here. Uh, eighth grade pay baseball will play uh, Anderson here. And then depending on how those games play out on Monday, uh, for both seventh and eighth grade, we'll determine what the rest of the week looks like. So we want to wish our uh, students, athletes, um, all the luck as they head into um, the, the EVC tournament. Love to put up uh, another banner to start the school year in our gym this year. That's uh, one of the things we're, we're excited about. Uh, and speaking of our athletes, uh, I know a few weeks ago I mentioned our uh, Mr. Keeling does a athlete of the week. And so haven't had a chance to nominate, or not nominate, but mention our athletes of the week. And so congratulations to three students, uh, Cole Montgomery, uh, who is on the, uh, the baseball team for eighth grade. So congratulations, Cole, for being a student athlete of the week. Uh, Ivy Schmidt is one of our volleyball players uh, who is an awesome, uh, an awesome, I don't know if it's, I think it's called hitter, uh, but she can definitely power those spikes. I was watching her yesterday. So uh, again, that eighth grade team was really, really fun to watch yesterday. Uh, and then this week is uh, Jet Cartwright. So congratulations to Cole, Ivy, and Jet for being nominated as uh, Student Athlete of the Week. Uh, great job as a student athlete and upholding our motto of respect and accountability. Uh, in the classroom as well as uh, on the athletic courts and fields uh, and mats at, at, in Jets, a football, baseball player. Um, and so one of the things you might have seen yesterday in terms of communication is a laptop communication that has come out. And so working with our district and our IT department, our students are lucky enough to receive uh, brand new laptops here uh, starting on September 18th. And so we're going to cycle our 7th and 8th graders through on the uh, 18th and 19th of September. And so uh, they should have their laptops all the time. Um, some of them carry their chargers all the time with them. But uh, please help us remind our Spartan students to bring their laptops and chargers on the 18th and 19th. That way they can turn those laptops and chargers in. They will be issued a brand new 500W Lenovo laptop. Uh, as well as a brand new charger. The other chargers will not work with uh, the new laptops. It's a different wattage, I believe is the proper terminology. And, uh, and so uh, we'll get that out. If they happen to not have one of those items or both those items, we will still issue them a new laptop and a new charger. It will just be on their uh, destiny record of, of those assets that are still on their account uh, and, and responsible for them. So. Um, and then we'll send another communication out as a reminder next week. Uh, one of the things going on next week is uh, we have a new uh, assessment platform. In the past, you may have heard of uh, Galileo. Uh, we have we moved on from Galileo. We are now using a, a tool called DNA. Our, our teachers have been trained on it. We have um, specific teachers on our class on our campus that have have been the teacher of teachers. And so we're gonna uh, we've done some sample benchmarks. We did a lesson one day uh, uh, in which we had uh, students run through kind of a, uh, a practice uh, assessment. We just had different questions about SOS in the middle school, you know, who the administrators are, uh, what our motto is, things like that, just to run students through the different types of questions that could be used in this DNA platform. But we're gonna be doing our beginning of the year assessments on the 12th and 13th next week. Uh, and so basically it's a checkpoint for us to see how students are and kind of how they're tracking. That way we can uh, and use our, our enrichments, our interventions, we can gear our lessons around uh, preparing students for uh, us knowing whether they are mastering the content or not and kind of projecting out and seeing uh, where those gaps might be. Um, with that being said, it's gonna be language arts, uh, math and eighth grade science. It will be conducted in their respective classes uh, in terms of a modified schedule, the only differences will be on a non-sword full day schedule. So there will be no sword period at the end of the day to allow us to have more time in class, uh, those classes to conduct those assessments. What else is looking at next week? Uh, we have Winter Guard uh, meeting from five to six in Mr. Wyatt's room on Monday. Uh, wrestling hits the mats on Tuesday versus Willis as they head towards the tail end of their season before the EVC Wrestling Championships. Uh, come on out. Everybody is welcome for the improv show on Wednesday at 6 p.m. in our student union. Uh, and then just some PTSO news. I, I know I touched on at the very beginning, but please uh, thank you for all those that have donated. I, I was at the PTSO meeting yesterday and uh, I, I truly appreciate all of that our PTSO does for our teachers and our students. 
And so thank you for those that donated for our teacher dinner on the 14th. Uh, we call it a family meal. It's a great opportunity for us at different times throughout the year to kind of come together as a staff, uh, spend some time together and, and just share stories, laughs, uh, and, and just come together as a Spartan staff. One of the things that we love about Sossaman is when we get a chance to come together as a whole staff. Uh, and we call it Spartan family. And that's, uh, that's how it feels here. And so that's very important to us. So thank you for donating. Thank you, PTSO, for supporting our campus for that. Um, so please check that link out. As a reminder, next week, Panda Express on February 12th, sorry, February, uh, September 12th from 4 to 8. 20% uh, of all proceeds, uh, if you mention Sossaman, uh, go to that. So uh, help us out and go get yourself some, some Beijing beef, some orange chicken, uh, some of my favorites, maybe even a beef and broccoli. Uh, and then main event is on September 20th from 4 to 8 as well. Uh, and then looking a little further ahead, our fall carnival is set for uh, October 27th. Uh, one of the things that I would like to have is more families attend. And so we're, we're starting the planning process for that. I should say we're, we're a little bit beyond starting. So we're looking at different ways. Uh, it, this is not like a school dance where it's students only. We really would like more families to come with their kids, uh, with the younger kids, our future Spartans. And so uh, just hopefully you can put that date on the calendar now and, and we get a lot of participation for a wonderful uh, community event for Sasana Middle School. And just as we leave off, uh, you know, as I've talked about before, one of our highest priorities is campus safety. And so as I'm out uh, doing traffic before school and after school, uh, my job is number one, keep our uh, campus safe. Another priority for me, another job for me is getting parents on, on and off campus as quick as possible. But with quick being there, right, that's moving forward. Even if your student is next to you, kind of keep moving forward. But when we say quick here, let's just be mindful, please, of our speeds on Jacaranda. We want to make sure we're at a safe speed for our students. And so it is 15 miles per hour in front of the school. Uh, outside of that, I believe it's 25 miles per hour. So just if we could be mindful of that, I would truly appreciate just so we can keep our campus and our community safe. Tonight is homecoming at Higley High. I hope to see everyone there. There is a carnival from 4.30 to 6.30 prior to the game. Uh, I hope to see everyone there supporting our former Spartans and our current Knights as they take on, uh, I believe it's Marana. And so uh, I, I will be there tonight with my family. And uh, so go Knights this evening. And as always, go Spartans. And I think I forgot to mention this last week, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great weekend.